Hey guys, this is Odon Gaming. This is going to be another Raid Shadow Legends video. In today's video, we're not going to be talking about summons, even though we have an amazing event going on right now. Uh, I'm not going to be summoning today. I'm going to be trying my luck tomorrow, right? We have an amazing 10 times going on for these, uh, what are they called again? Faction Unity Champions, but tomorrow we do have uh, Legate Teox being on the on the 10 times and I would love to actually get another copy. He's so good. I would love to just have two Hydra teams with uh, two Teoxes or both of them being in one team to do some crazy damage on a uh, higher level. So what I'm going to talk about today is actually the fact that we have the event uh, dungeon tournament going on right now, right? So we have Odin's Trial Tournament. This is something that keeps recording. I think it's once a week that they're doing it. And uh, we pretty much want to be able to do as high stage as we can because we do have this, right? We have the the path for getting the soul for Thor, right? That's going to be also massive. So I said, you know what? Let me just show you guys the team that I'm using. It's not going to be an uh, OP team anymore, right? So the first time that I did a video on it was day one. Using all my best champions, I could do it just like that in like eight seconds. So we have the Fey, uh, Fey Hammer Titan event. Obviously, you're going to want to try and get a five star. So we're going to try and get these hammer so i guess let's jump into the event dungeon let's see what i'm using so i am farming stage 30 but the thing is like this because of the way i do have two gnuts i do have maria so because of the way that i'm using them already in my other dungeons like sand devil like fire knight i cannot change their speed anymore okay the reason i'm saying that is as an example in order for this team to work to be like you know 99 successful i need my gnuts to be slower right i have to have them be under like the 260 mark because i even noticed even if they are 258 right if my gnut is 258 or a little bit faster this team is gonna fail because they get a turn before the boss goes so that's a fail However, at that speed that I have them under 260, they still work for Fire Knight. So that means I cannot use them for this one, okay? Unfortunately, I cannot use them for the event dungeon. So I just came up with, I guess, a more relatable-ish team, right? So pretty much I'm just using, uh, you know, double Apex with Lydia, with only one Gnut, and then with, uh, what's her name, Lissandra. So this is not the perfect team as well but it's one that is a little bit more relatable like the one thing that actually works which i love that i started with some bad rng but it pretty much i'm relying on having ugo in here for the block buffs and the decreased defense to you know kind of try and block even though it's not working perfectly it's not like you know every time the boss does stuff it's blocked no but it does work pretty well in combination with lydia's block buffs on the a3 this one works pretty well and it's, uh, it goes from like one minute up until like two minutes and a bit, depending on the RNG, depending on the extra turn that CR gets, right? Because if CR gets several extra turns, it kind of changes the way that the boss gets the block damage on itself, right? So that's something that I do need to take into account. However, this team works, like I'm pretty happy with it. Again, it works pretty fine. I think I did like around 500 runs and it only failed like once. You see that I don't have enough accuracy in my CR to take this one off because, well, the boss on this stage requires you to have, uh, and again, you can see some <laughs> something like this, the GNU the, doing the A3 in the boss's uh, block damage. Again, it's not perfect, but it works. So I was saying I did like, I think around 500 runs, and honestly, in the 500 runs, it only failed like once, right? So it's not the fastest, it's not the speed tune. I guess this is, again, I like to call this a more relatable one, even though it's like, yeah, I do have Alessandra, I do have Gnut. It can work with Deacon as well, right? You can use Deacon instead of Lissandra. It just, you might just need some different speeds, right? You might just need to get them a little bit faster and whatnot in order to do the, the skills at the right time. Basically, what you want to do is you want to kill the first ads as soon as possible, right? You want to kill the first ones. And the fastest from this, uh, this kind of rotation is the... Gregor, I think it's his name, the Faction Unity Barbarian, and he's at 270 speed, right? So you can see this one pretty much worked. It was 1 minute 47. Again, not the fastest, but it's more relatable, right? It's a little bit more relatable on how it actually works. Even though you're not going to need like 6 star fully awakened crushing and like, you know, plus 4 seer or stuff like that. But it can work with some decent stats because you have enough buffs. Now, let me just show you the preset of the team and then I'm going to show you the speed. So... Lissandra pretty straightforward, she prioritizes using that A3, right? Because this one boosts our speed, puts increased speed, and 
pushes that speed back. That's really important. Then Lydia Maker prioritizes the A2 because we want that A we decrease defense weaken. Plus the buffs are obviously gonna help us. And then when she doesn't do that, she's gonna do the A3, which lands the block buffs, which hopefully should block the boss's block, uh, block damage most of the time. Then when it comes to Gnut, I make him prioritize the A3, the Blast Bash, because obviously that's the one that's gonna just destroy the boss, hopefully. Then Seer, I'd make her not use the A2, honestly. I don't really, I, I think I'd rather just keep getting those A1 hits, I guess. If I didn't use the A2, I could try and make it. If I did use the A2, maybe it would fall into sync, but still. She still has a chance to get the extra turn on the A1, so I said, you know what? Just let her do the A1s and then just stop the A2. And then Ugo prioritize obviously the A2 that does uh, decrease defense and block buffs. So this is the team. The speeds are uh, usually, I mean, I have my Ugo the fastest. Doesn't have to be Ugo, it can be Lissandra. However, you wanna try and keep everybody, you know, decently fast, at least over 230 like Seer. Because if you use Lissandra, obviously you gotta keep in mind that Every time you put a buff, because there's a Valkyrie in the enemy team, she pushes back your turn meter and she gains turn meter. So you gotta take that into consideration. So maybe if you have Deacon in the team, you might need a little bit uh, a little bit more speed on everybody else. So try to do account for that. But the speed that I'm running is, I guess, 298 Ugo the fastest, then second fastest Alessandra, 266, 261 for Lydia, 255 for Gnut, and then my Seer 233, right? These are, these are the speeds. Now let's have a look at the build that I have on these people. Let me get my Seer out. So I guess let's start with the fastest. So I have Ugo, I actually have Ugo in a shield set, right? The shield set plus three pieces of protection. And the reason for the shield set is obviously so Seer does enough damage to actually kill the to actually kill all of them, right? In case a decreased defense or a weekend doesn't land without the shield set, I don't quite kill them. So you know what? Having the shield set does help. And you gotta keep in mind it's really important you need to have over 500 accuracy, right? So it might be tough for you to get these stats, but I think you don't need 298, around to like 280, maybe you should be just fine. And then 500 accuracy, you don't care about anything else. She doesn't have mastery, so if you had masteries, you could even go maybe tier six with the eagle eye if you're struggling for the stats. If not, go with Warmaster. Then, the, even though I had another Ugo, I should have just built another Ugo because I had the, like Ugo with higher awakening. Maybe I should have built this one with with uh, masteries as well. But I just kept that Ugo for other uh, other stuff. Okay, the second fast is going to be Lissandra again. No full mastery, so hopefully this seems more relatable to you guys. And uh, she's in double perception one speed set. She's running. Uh, she is fully booked. Like everybody in the team is going to be fully booked, right? Keep that in mind. And then she's running at 266, again, over 500 accuracy. That's all I cared about. I didn't use the optimizer. I just gave her some accuracy and speed gear to go over the 500 speed and then whatever I could get in the speed afterwards. Then my Lydia. Lydia is actually my Lydia that I'm using in my hard Hydra team. And she is in a curse set, right? You don't need a curse set. You just need her to be like over 260 speed to have over 500 accuracy to land the debuffs and then you're good to go. These are her masteries with War Master. Then we're gonna talk about Newt. He is one of the ones that have been lethal, right? With then two, two other random pieces on him. He's running 255, obviously 100% crit rate, insane crit damage, really uh, decent defense. Honestly, I think you need around like 250 crit damage, you're gonna hit the cap, right? So even though you see 332, it's because obviously the awakening, you don't need that much. I think 250 should be a, a pretty decent spot. And then when it comes to masteries, these are the masteries with obviously Giant Slayer as tier six. And then Seer, Seer is basically the one that I used to nuke the waves in dungeons, the one that I use for Doom Tower, and she is in Savage plus Cruel. I've not changed her, I think, in over uh, over a year, something like that. The only thing I think that I've done is I actually gave her uh, some ascensions. Crit damage over here, I could even try and give her more crit damage or crit rate here. But here is a 233 speed, 345 crit damage, and that's all you care about, right? I think it would be really hard to try and get 500 accuracy to rip off the block damage from uh, Odin, so I'm not sure I would worry about that, but I guess you could try, right? If you can get to the 500, maybe go with an accuracy, chest over here and an accuracy banner because well you don't really care about her attack as much like yeah her one's gonna do damage but if you're most using seer for the karma burn you mostly care about crit damage as much crit damage as you can get and then you're good to go but like yeah i guess uh that pretty much leaves it i'm gonna still be looking in some teams that i can do obviously this one doesn't work anymore because they fixed it but i want to have a look and i want to see if i can do something i was just looking uh, earlier over here 
I was just looking and I was trying to see, can I actually go and do the event dungeon with uh, some, something with using uh, Sulfurium, right? Because I know there's some burn teams out there, but I think the only burn teams that actually work are going to be the ones with uh, Sulfurium, right? So let's see, must include Sulfurium. Let's see, can we get something like this that makes it faster? What are the speeds? Again, I care about the speeds because if the speeds, if they're over to to uh, what's the speed again over uh, 270 or over 260 doesn't really work for for the way that I'm using my team for sand devil so this is a team that maybe works right I see that I need to have a sulfurian really fast which might be tough but it might work because I'm just gonna use it for hydra anyway for his buttons so sulfurian the fastest then second fastest Cecia, then uh, Artak, and then I guess the double gnu to finish it off so I think I should be able to get this team going maybe even this one right i think you know, the thing that makes this team actually work is the fact that sulfurian also boosts the termiter right when he does those burns let me just look at him still have to build him i'm in the process of farming masteries i'm still trying to be efficient but basically when he uh, does this one let me see so places hp burn then instantly activates them over here fills the termiter of all allies by five percent for each HP burn debuff place. So basically, this one is going to be 20% Termiter boost. So if I'm, because I'm not going to be landing any buffs, right, in the team that I saw with Artak and Cecia, they just explode buffs, I should be able to go, I should be able to have both my Gnuts go before the boss goes, even though they only are like, for example, this one's 255 and the other one I think is like 257. So I might try that team out and if that team works, I'm going to come back with a video maybe tomorrow or the day after because tomorrow like i said i might be pulling some uh some shots to try and get another tx but anyway we're gonna leave it at this for today guys thank you all for watching as always if you did enjoy my content don't forget to like this video subscribe to the channel to see when i upload next also there's another account giveaway going on my ch uh, on my channel i posted yesterday make sure you go check it out if you're looking for a better account but yeah thank you all for watching and i'm gonna see you in the next one peace love take care everyone bye guys